This is John Deere Evergreen Implement called Argyo. We got a W260. This is the best uh, they got for W260. It's been uh, cleaned up and it's uh, actually raised. We got the belts, conveyor belts, drive lines, drive line axles. We have uh, And you can tell it's pretty dirty. It's, uh, when you get to the driveline axle, the belts, this is a uh, pretty much a. Uh, the W260 John Deere. These belts. These are lubes. These are nuts. Maybe by a grease gun. You get greased how many hours you got on the driveline axle. This driveline axle has nipples for it to be lubed. Remember, this is the W260, the uh, John Deere Evergreen implement. RGO here right on Pioneer Way in Muzz Lake, Washington. You can see the uh, drive axle. The axle has nipples for the grease gun. And to get to the grease gun, you can get in here and uh, get into the nipples. Make sure these are rotated. The hours you put on here, 1,000, 10,000, 5,000 hours to 10,000 hours, these uh, have to be lubed. The drive axles, the belts, uh, the debris, the wear and tear. The blades. That's in the, uh, and also the Yager, which is the command unit. Some blades, the auger, the command unit where you sit. Nothing will work unless you're sitting and commanding the unit by your arm, command unit by RDK RD systems. These rotated blades. See the belts. Get to uh, rotate them out. It's, this is a lot of uh, condensation. Probably need a jump chute to get in here, but uh, or some Levi's, something for the professional BBR, corporate uh, modified for PBR or one of the uh, heavy equipment operators. For John Deere Evergreen Implement, RDO, and Pioneer, Pioneer Way, Moses Lake, Washington. Can't miss it.